In this episode, I will be doing a climbing shoe review. As you can see, I have five pairs of Simon Rock climbing shoes, all from Decathlon Philippines. This episode is sponsored by Decathlon Masinag Branch. Thank you so much for letting me do an episode featuring your products. So this will be my first product review as a brand ambassador for Decathlon Philippines. So anyway, the outline of today's video will be as follows. So first, I will be giving an introduction and overview of climbing shoes in general. So next, I will try out the climbing shoes here in my home wall. Now before I test each pair, let's talk about their basic features such as what type of shoe is this, when is it best to use this climbing shoe, and other necessary details as well. I will be giving some final thoughts regarding the climbing shoes after testing them. So what's up guys? If you are new to this channel, I am AE and I make different videos about wall climbing ranging from climbing tips, climbing challenges, and stories of different climbers. I would appreciate if you'd like this video and subscribe to this channel for more climbing content. Choosing the best climbing shoe for you can be a bit overwhelming if you are not familiar with the different types of climbing shoes. For example, if you are relatively new to climbing, you decide to buy your first pair of shoes, you go to a store like Decathlon, and you see that the climbing shoes for sale vary in different aspects. So you might have questions like, why is this shoe flatter than this one? Or why is this shoe softer than this one? So this is the first advice that I would probably give regarding climbing shoes. There is an intended use for each type of climbing shoe. For example, this downturn shoe is good for overhang climbs, while this flat and stiff shoe is good for edging. Now, I would probably differentiate climbing shoes using three factors. First is the stiffness. This refers to how stiff or how soft your shoe is. Next is the downturn level. This pertains to the shape of the sole of your shoe. So for example, this one is flat while this one is downturn. The third factor is the fit. So some shoes use a lace type, uh, others use a Velcro strap, and others are like slippers. So this one is a slip-on. The intended use of each climbing shoe depends on the combination of its stiffness and its downturn level. So I will try to elaborate that statement by looking into the Simon climbing shoes that we have so let's go through them one by one. This is the first climbing shoe which I will feature. I think this is the most beginner friendly climbing shoe. So it's flat, it's moderately rigid, not too stiff, not too soft. Now the lace allows you to adjust the level of comfort that you want for your feet. However, this shoe is not precise enough to latch on to small holds, but that's okay because for beginners, uh, usually the routes that you climb won't involve uh, small footholds. So this is not as precise as the other shoes here. Yeah, for me, you really don't need high precision shoes when starting out. Now, I would definitely recommend this for beginners, especially for those who do top rope.
finally, this is our last climbing shoe. Now, this one is the softest and the most downturn. Because of that, it has really high precision. So I think this is the best shoe for bouldering. This is also good for overhang walls. Because of its downturn level, it looks like a claw. It also looks good for toe hooks and heel hooks. This shoe can be classified as aggressive, so it can be really painful, especially if you're starting out. these shoes as you saw earlier my home wall is an inclined setup so since my wall is inclined there are specific climbing shoes designed for that type of climbing among these shoes this is the best pair for an overhang climb which I already mentioned earlier because of its downturn level and its softness it's really precise it's really good for overhang walls uh, after testing the shoe I am really satisfied with its performance so if you are looking for an aggressive bouldering shoe or aggressive climbing shoe I would definitely recommend this so I was able to climb well using these shoes except for this one there were times when my foot slipped but again this shoe is designed for beginners uh, when you don't need precision uh, this slip on shoe is okay it is also good for heel hooks okay so this shoe because of its stiffness I tried it uh, using the small footholds which I have in the wall I was also satisfied with its performance in terms of fitting, I got the same size for all shoes. Uh, personally, I prefer a Velcro strap. I had the most difficult time fitting uh, this one. Because as I mentioned earlier, this is a slip-on shoe. Because of the limitations that I have here in my home wall, I will definitely have a part two wherein I will try these shoes at the climbing gym. Okay, so to summarize everything, first there is an intended use for each climbing shoe. So each climbing shoe has its advantage and disadvantages. Next, for similar climbing shoes, I would definitely recommend these two pairs for beginners. If you are climbing on gyms which have top rope facilities, I would recommend this pair. If you are a beginner and you want to start out bouldering, I would recommend this pair. So for intermediate to advanced climbers, I would recommend these three pairs. I would definitely want to try these shoes at a climbing gym so that we could see them function for their intended use. Please let me know if you have any clarifications or suggestions regarding this video. I would definitely appreciate your feedback if you have questions regarding climbing shoes. So hopefully when you go to Decathlon next time, you now have a better idea on which climbing shoe to buy. Thank you so much Decathlon Masina for sponsoring these shoes. I definitely had a good time trying all of these climbing shoes. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Marami pong salamat.